Rwanda is gradually becoming the Silicon Valley of Africa. Young men and women, with the backing of the government, are excitedly transforming the cities into a tech hub, rising in the heart of Africa. From revolutionary drones gracing the skies to farmers using technology to improve yield and curtail climate change, to young developers launching new apps and securing millions of dollars in funding. This is Rwanda, a nation reborn from the ashes of genocide. Today, coding and technology has replaced matches and algorithms yield wounds. For example, Nairobi-based Kotani Pay is a crypto payment startup with a vision to make cross-payment remittances available and easier for the large underbanked populations in Africa. It has raised 2 million pre-seed funding to help African workers send money home via crypto without the internet. Let's explore Rwanda's tech revolution and dive headfirst into the latest developments. Just 25 years ago, Rwanda was synonymous with tragedy. But from the ashes, just like the UAE, Rwanda arose from the shackles with the dream of coding a brighter future. Kigali, the capital, is buzzing with startups, tackling everything from healthcare to education to agriculture, all with a Rwandan twist. Made in African marathons are already selling well across Rwanda and other African countries. What about the young guys developing Zipline, an autonomous drone-based delivery system that is changing the face of medicine in Rwanda? This technology lets medical facilities bypass traffic jams and deliver medicine and supplies by drone. Imagine a malaria test kit sapping across mountains to save a life. And guess what? Rwanda's government is actively supporting the tech trends in the country and encouraging young graduates to become developers. They are rolling out fiber optic cables faster than you can imagine. They are training tech talents like nobody's business, with coding camps popping up everywhere. And guess what? It's working. Rwanda's tech scene is diverse too. Women are coding their way to the top, building startups that empower other women. And the impact, it's real, it's tangible. Kasha, a digital retail platform founded in 2016 by Joanna Bichel, serving a wide range of customers with women's health elements, is already a successful startup. It raised 21 million Series B funding led by Knife Capital to expand the health access platform across Africa. Farmers are using AI to optimize their crops. Doctors are diagnosing diseases remotely. And kids are learning code before they can even spell algorithm. But it hasn't been easy for Rwanda, as you would expect. There are challenges, of course. Access to capital, limited infrastructure, and the ever-present digital divide. But Rwanda is not shying away. They are building tech hubs in rural areas, offering solar power laptops, and even launching their own satellites. Rwanda's tech revolution is more than just lines of code. It's a story of resilience, of turning tragedy into triumph. It's a testament to the human spirit ability to innovate, to heal, to build a better future. So the next time you think of Rwanda, don't just think genocide. Think of the kids coding their dreams, the farmers using AI to feed their families, the doctors saving lives with a click. This is Rwanda's tech revolution, and it's just getting started.